Hey everybody, Dustin here. Fall is upon us in Missouri, and I think it's about time that I go and get that stylite geode that I left in the creek before it's gone. If you're watching this, it means that I found it. Come along, let's get it. All right, made it to the creek here. I don't know how I'm gonna do today. Quite a few leaves. <laughs> Here's one that I obviously left here last time. That's just chilling, got rained on a few times. That looks pretty. We'll head through the tunnel here and see if I can find back that big geode that I left here last time. Yep, leaves are falling. Time is limited. I'm probably gonna spend, I don't know, not long, 45 minutes to an hour here. I have in mind something that I wanna look for. On the way back, I'll search the rest of these rocks more thoroughly. It's gonna be hard to spot stuff today. There's not a lot of leaves, but they really interfere with the rocks, especially since, uh, as you can see, most of this is the same color as the leaves. It's right up here under all this brush and bramble. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, I got a little bit better light this time. Ooh, I don't think that's the one I remember, but I see one here. Yeah, that's a definite style of light geode and it is in there. So I'm gonna try and dig that out. So I forgot my rock hammer last time I went to this spot and this time it was in the other car that was not at home when I decided I was going to go on this trip. But I did bring my big S-Wing with me, as you can see, and I was able to do some work with that to help pry that thing out. That clay was some of the toughest, hardest clay I've ever dug in, and it was like digging in concrete. So, glad I got it. All right, well, it broke a little bit here. Let's check that out. Yeah, it's definitely going to have some geode pockets in it, though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, whew, that was a lot of digging. I got it. Before I started digging that out, I noticed there's, there's more of them right around here. There's more of them here. Ah, that's a little more obtainable. And then I saw a big one down here. I don't know if I'll take this back, but this would be cool. You can see like the whole stylite structure that just turned into a geode. So yeah, I'm gonna look around here a little bit more. I could be done though. I don't know if that was the stylite geode I spotted last time or not. Huh. Maybe while I'm here, I'll find another good one of these. Huh. Looks like it had a uh, Chalcedony inside of it. Okay, I see some stuff shining here. Check out this. Uh, man, briars. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Again, I think that's a... Another one of the stylolite geodes. All right, I might just have to load up the bucket here and be on my way. See if I can spot any more coming out of the wall here. I don't see anything real obvious. Okay, I'm gonna start packing up my bucket. All right, bucket is filling quickly. I don't know if this is anything, but let's see. Oh yeah. I bet this is gonna be a nice one cleaned up. That was cool. I was just sitting in there, like how it formed, and it must have just dissolved out of the clay. I wonder if there's any more right here like that. Yeah, probably. Oh, I think this is one. It's gonna be like a crazy long one. Yeah, it doesn't look like much now, but I bet that cleans up really cool. All right, well, if I decide to take that big one, I already have more than I can carry. That's a cool old brick. 
Hmm. I'm gonna look around here a little bit more just in case I can find something cool that's a little bit smaller than that. But I don't know, I may have to take that because it's a cool yard rock. Definitely cooler than this one that's been exposed to the elements for a while. Although this one could be pretty cool too if I cleaned it up. Oh. We'll see. There's got to be something else hiding out here. Well, I'm not seeing any more obvious style of light geodes here, but oh, there is some neat banded shirt. Man, that is in there. Ugh. That might just stay there. I don't know if I feel like digging that out. And right there next to the chert is another piece of chert that looks interesting that I can't get. And uh, style of light. Geode. All right, cool. That's a cool one. All right, still contemplating that chert piece as I sit here on this log. And I noticed this. Yeah, I kind of think that might be worth digging up and uh, i think that will do it here all right it popped out let's take a look at it it's definitely got a nice crystal cavity there huh it's not exactly what i thought it was gonna be but whatever i worked hard for it so it's gonna come back with me all right, and I think that's going to do it. All right, I am going to leave, but check out what I set my bucket next to. Nice. That's cool. That is a nice little piece. Okay. All right, I swear I am planning on leaving, but I got to take this beakite encrusted horn coral. That is cool. Okay, I'm going. All right, shortest and yet probably greatest weight limit I've ever picked up on a rock rounding trip. Let's uh, check out everything I got. See you back at my house. Okay, so full disclosure, it's just my theory that these things are stylolite geodes. This is a limestone stylolite, in case you're curious. These are structures that form inside of pressure zones in limestone and it gets this weird, almost petrified wood type appearance, but it's not any type of fossil. It's a mineral formation. And I think what happens is sometimes these have tiny little pores in them and then silica gets inside, inside of those tiny pores and expands into a geode like this. So let me know what you think. Stylolite geodes is just my theory. All right, here is everything from the last trip to Weird Geode Creek, probably this year. This is the piece that I came for, and I'm happy that I got it. It turned out pretty cool. You can see the void in there where there's some crystals inside of that style light structure. I still need to maybe pressure wash these one more time. I don't know, it was just really hard to get them clean. You can see I could do a better job on this one. It has such a cool texture on the outside. Whatever. It's a cool yard rock, if, if nothing else. And this piece. Don't find a lot of this around here. This almost reminds me of Washington County type material. The druzy inside the limestone here. This one came out pretty cool. In the future... I may try uh, dipping this in muriatic acid to see if uh, I can dissolve any of this uh, host rock, I think, that's stuck to it. I don't know. That may or may not come off. But these are cool. You can see how they form. And then there's all sorts of other weird stuff there at this spot like this. I'm not sure if this is a stylolite geode, some type of geode, no doubt. But it is weird. And there's that big dog. You can see how that formed. It was just like a seam inside the limestone and the silicates got in there and turned it into a geode. All these pieces here came off of that one while I was cleaning it. And I gotta say, this is unexpected, but the best thing that I brought home is without a doubt this geode. 
I noticed when I was cleaning it, it kind of had little hints of agate. And check that out. Little fortification pocket right there. Hey, thanks for coming along with me to Weird Geode Creek. This will be my last trip here this year because the leaves get too thick. But it's always nice to find an unexpected agate hiding in your geodes. So I will definitely be back to this spot after some spring rains. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. See you in the next video, everybody. Rock on.